Alright guys, this is going to be a quick video on how to install uh, Z Re-Recovery is what it's called. Um, there is two different files it, and I'll explain what it does. So basically what Z Re-Recovery is, is it is a way to install Bootstrap Recovery after you flash ROM. Because whenever you flash a ROM, you have to wipe data, data and, and etch, factory reset. Um, and then when you do that, you lose Bootstrap Recovery. So, I'm going to explain what this does. So, I already have, here's a ROM that has Bootstrap Recovery on it. You know, normally you go and you hit install. And it says OK. So, normally here, next thing you do is you go in and reboot. Um, you know, hit, uh, you plug in your jack right here. And then you hit your recovery mode. So, I'm going to show you another way to end recovery without doing that. Once you have it installed, basically what you can do is you can power off the device. Power off. Hit OK. Alright, once it powers off, um, what we're going to do is we are going to plug in our jack and then power it on. Because normally what, what bootstrap, we do, bootstrap Recovery does is it hijacks the charge mode. So, um, since we have it installed, we can now enter Bootstrap Recovery by just plugging in the phone once it's powered off. So, we'll just show you that really quick here if it'll power off. Come on. So, anyway, so Z Recovery, what it does is um, basically after you flash, you, you, know, you wipe your data, you wipe your etch, you wipe your, your, or your cache, you drive your Delvet cache, and then you flash your ROM. Um, but now you have no, uh, you have no data, so you lost Bootstrap Recovery app and its settings. So if something goes wrong in your, in your uh, ROM flash, and the thing boot loops and you can't get it to ever boot up, now you got a BSF to recover your phone. So what, what Z Re Recovery does is it you flash it after you flash your ROM and it reinstalls um, bootstrap recovery on your phone and sets it so if something messes up on your phone and you can't get get into it once you install that ROM instead of BSFing you can just plug your turn your phone off and plug it in okay that was a power off animation which is kinda weird all right, so if we plug our phone in, now here's Motorola dual dual core logo there, um, and then it should boot us in straight into Clockwork My Recovery. So there's two ways to do it. You can do it through the app and do it through the settings on it, or you can just plug in, and you should boot into Clockwork My Recovery. Give it a sec here. All right, so there you go. So that's the way um, you can get into Clockwork My Recovery. Two ways: through the app and plugging in, going through the settings in the app, or just by turning your phone off once you have the once you have Bootstrap Recovery installed. You can just turn the phone off and plug in, and it'll power up the phone, and it'll go into boot, it'll go into Clockwork My Recovery, which is your Bootstrap. So I'm going to show you really quick. I'm going to flash ROM, and I'm going to show you how it works. Um, so really quick what we're going to do is we're going to wipe um, data factory reset. This is right here the step that erases bootstrap recovery off your phone so that we don't have it. Alright and then I'm going to go down I'm going to wipe etch or cache and we'll wipe that and then we're going to go to advanced and we will select wipe dove Del cache. All right, perfect. Now you want to you want to install a um, you want to install a custom ROM like we're gonna say CM9 because I have that one on here. So we're gonna go to install zip from SD card. Choose zip. I'm gonna scroll down to CM9. Hit it, and then I'm gonna install CM9, which is my top at, uh, top one right there. And I'm gonna install it. Alright, so when this gets done, then I have to install the gaps, the, the G, G, G apps, and uh, then once once that is installed, then normally you reboot 
um, but what you want to do is you want to flash or I should, yeah you want to flash the Z re-recovery um, which I have on my phone so for CM7 CM9 and MIUI4 which are all Android uh, ice cream sandwich based you want to use the uh, CM7 re-recovery okay because um, it's based it, it works with ice cream sandwich it's like it's like the patched bootstrap recovery okay um, if you have any other standard ROM for gingerbread for the Droid X2 uh, you want to use the um, Droid X2 re-recovery or Z re-recovery um, and that's how you want it you want to do that there is um, the ROM so now we're going to choose zip from SD and we're going to scroll down to CM9 in my folder manager here and then I'm going to do the Google app, uh, G apps for ice cream sandwich and we'll install those opening package copying files alright so as soon as this finishes the last step we have is we we do that um, re-recovery the Z re-recovery and once that's flashed yep so right here one more time choose another zip see go down to CM9 which is where I have my re-recovery at and Z re-recovery dot DX2 dot CM7 that's the one I want it's a, it's a version 4 zip so pick that one come down scroll down and you say install yes all right there we go so now we're installed so now what we got to do is we got to reboot and you reboot the phone now if there's a problem here where you don't boot up correctly this is where um, if the phone will not boot up correctly this is where you, you got your butt covered if something happens think boot loops we can pull the battery or whatever turn the phone off and we'll be able to just go in and bring up Clockwork Bar Recovery, install a different ROM, whatever. Restore backup, whatever we want to do, and we don't have to go back in SBF. So I'm going to let this load, and then I'm going to show you how, to, how this works here. We'll come back to it. All right, guys, I'm going to simulate here for you a boot loop, okay? Um, so basically, let's say right here we're boot looping, even though it's actually going to load my ROM because it's not a bad install. But I'm just going to show this to you really quick. So this is a boot loop. So I'm going to go ahead and open my back cover. And I'm going to pull my battery. Alright, so pull my battery. Insert it back in. Put my back cover on. I'm still plugged in to do this. You still have to be plugged in. Okay. So now, even though because I installed Z Re-Recovery, by doing that, you are going to boot into um, Clockwork Mod. Okay. So if that was a true boot loop, this will get you back to Clockwork Mod, even though you don't have the Bootstrap uh, APK app installed. See, now we're in it. So we just saved our butt if we boot looped on that ROM install because something went bad. Now we don't have to SBF. We can just come back in here. We could wipe data, factory reset, whatever we want to do. Um, just so I can show you that I don't actually have it installed, I'm going to reboot right now. And uh, you can see that, I'll go to my app drawer, you can see that uh, Bootstrap Recovery is not installed. But that allowed me to get into it. So this should boot up CM9 right now really quick. Alright guys, as you can see we booted up CM9, so we're going to get started. And I'm just going to go really quick into the app drawer, we're going to bypass all of our settings here. And uh, we'll go into the app drawer and see what we got there. Come on now. Alright, activation, I'm going to skip it. We're going to skip this, not now, next, and next, next, finish. Okay, so here is um, CM9, and we're going to go into app drawer, and as you can see here, there is no, there's super user there, but there's no system recovery installed but uh, that re-recovery saves us. So once you're in here, I would go ahead and install your system recovery, your patch system recovery, because you're CM9, but uh, it is not installed right now. Um, so that's how you save yourself from uh, an issue with the boot loop, is uh, basically the boot loops, pull battery, leave it shut plugged in, put the battery back in, don't touch nothing, and it'll boot to clockwork mod recovery. 
So that is how you use Z Recovery. Thanks, guys.